good with y'all, man. Early in the AM, man. It's pretty cold, not gonna lie to you, but we're back at the park. Look, I'll show y'all where I'm at again. Kind of by like a train track, some little loading dock area. But, uh, look, man, I'm back, and I'm back with a video. I promised y'all, man, it's about addiction. How I personally overcame my addiction. Now, honestly, what's crazy about this is because someone close to me actually asked me like for help and so, or some advice and it made me like honestly reflect like someone close to me bro like it hit home you know what I'm saying like sometimes it's even worse when it's someone you like care about like you love who's struggling with something like you would almost have you struggle with it you know what I'm saying but it made me like honestly reflect and like think about some like honest honest like advice that I would give because like I truly want to help people like truly want to help so look the first thing I would say, man, and it's ironic because it's cold as hell out here, but cold showers, man. That's honestly what helped me get out of, of um, like, that rut. Because at the beginning, man, there's, like, a little bump that you have to get over. I feel like that's, like, it's like that in life, man. There's, like, bumps you just have to get over. Once you get over that initial little, like, bump, you start seeing so much progress, bro. So much, so much progress. It's like that in, in the, like, if you're chasing a goal... You get over that initial hump and the progress just comes, man. It just comes at like an exponential rate. I'm saying this because, man, cold showers help a ton. It's the idea that you're trying to master your mind, bro. You're trying to like, you're trying not to be a slave to your mind, a slave to your body. Because if you're addicted, right? Like I was addicted to nicotine. I was addicted to pornography, to masturbation. You become literally reliant on this feeling. Like that's your outlet. Like you might be stressed. That's your outlet. You know what I'm saying? Like drugs become your outlet. Like, masturbation becomes your outlet. I said this before. I'd come home stressed as hell from school, work, jack off, start smoking. Like, that was, like, my outlet. That was my outlet. I didn't want to, like, face my my uh, fears and my stresses head on. I would search for a way to almost, like, avoid them. I would get to a state where I wouldn't even have to deal with them, where they didn't matter to me. But eventually, I would come down, and I'd have to face that eventually. So I realized, man, like, you got to sober up. I had to sober up. I realized pornography, sex, it was doing stuff to my brain, but cold showers man you discipline your body it's 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 having dominance over your body over this temporary state wherein you have dominance control if you're addicted to something you don't have control man i'm sorry but it's true you don't have control over yourself if you're addicted to something it, it has control over you it, it <laughs> whenever you start fiending right you start fiending right you start getting horny and you in, immediately act on that decision bro it has a control over you. It has a grip over you. It's like a parasite. It's controlling you. In that instant, it has power over you. I didn't like that feeling. I didn't like that feeling. But it's something you have to get over. You have to get over that urge, that's the sexual urges, the addictions you have, and it's hard. That's why I'm giving y'all this video, because it's honestly hard. But you can literally work through it. As of right now, I think it's been over 100 days since I've jacked off. It's been months since I've smoked nicotine, smoked weed done drugs drank alcohol like bro i've been sober 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 you could i would piss aquafina if somebody gave me a, a drug test right now aquafina bro they could drink that shit and it would taste like aquafina but look cold showers that helps because it's the idea that you're forcing your body to take a cold shower when it doesn't want to it wants to take a warm shower right it really wants to take a warm shower you're forcing your body to take a cold shower right you could easily right it's two inches away you could easily turn it to warm and oh it feels so good right you're 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 it's temporary but it would feel so good you you're getting that temporary pleasure warmth but you're telling your body nah we're gonna do it my way i'm in control here right it might not even be logical whatsoever right it might not be logical whatsoever we're gonna take a cold shower we're just gonna do it it's the winter and we're gonna take a cold shower your body's gonna be like what the heck like it's gonna start to obey you you need to be the master the captain of your soul bro now look cold showers that's one thing the next one man and this one it was big for me is because first of all if you're on this journey first of all I respect you and I commend you because 99% of people who have addictions don't even first of all realize they even have an addiction and that it's bad or it's wrong they think it's natural pornography sex all this stuff man the devil works in weird ways in cunning ways smart ways it's smart as hell tell you that it's natural that sex jacking off is natural right it's like you ever heard the phrase you give them an inch they take a mile 
It's like he's slowly trying to just gain ground. You, it slowly just gains a power over you. It's like day by day by day until eventually you look back and it's like, yo, like I've been doing this for years. I can't stop now. But the more you do it, the worse it gets. You, you honestly got to make a decision to stop. You got to do it for yourself. But progress is success, man. And the, the crazy thing about this, this world we live in, this universe, I feel like whenever you're on the right track, Sometimes the universe will straight up give you, not even signs, but straight up in your face, show you like, yo, like you found a truth that's true. Because like my last video, I was talking about failure is success. You can't, you can't avoid failure and somehow get to success. You, if you avoid failure, you are avoiding success. If you embrace failure, you will eventually get success naturally. It will come with it. I've said this before. Um, I was listening to somebody talk in person, bro gives a whole thing bro you would think he watched my video and gave a synopsis of that hoe up at the pulpit like not even joking man and but he said something uh that stuck out to me he said that success is progress that progress is success that people get too wrapped up in the outcome people get too wrapped up this is something i've preached since day one focus on the effort not the outcome people get so wrapped up in the outcome at the outcome i'm gonna quit this addiction i'm gonna get rich Okay, well, I've been doing this for a year and I'm not rich, so I'm not getting anywhere. Bro, that is so untrue. That is so untrue. Success is in the progress. Literally, success is in the progress. Progress is in the success. He was saying the same thing. He was saying that you got to embrace failure. Like, it's just crazy, man, the universe. And when I was looking around, people weren't even paying attention. And I was like, man, like, it's really, like, for me, like, just, like, it was just like a small moment. Like, damn, bro, like. That's a truth. Like, it was big to me. Like, for other people, it's probably like, whatever. Like, it just goes over their head. But for me, it was like, yo, like, that's crazy. Like, straight up, everything I was thinking, this man straight said. And it resonated with me heavily. You know what I'm saying? Like, but anyway, man, success is in progress, man. Progress is in success. You're going to relapse. It's going to happen. It happened to me. When I first started, man, the tough part was nicotine. Because all my homies would smoke nicotine, smoke weed. Like, it was tough, man. Smoking was tough. Partying even, like, alcohol and stuff like that, certain drugs associated with that was hard to give up because if I was going with my friends, chances are that was around. And it was just, it was super hard to just say no and stuff like that. You're going to relapse. You will relapse. It will happen. It's had a power over you for years, probably. It's going to happen. But, bro, honestly, take it a day by day. Like, embrace the small victories. That's the advice I'll give you. Embrace the small victories. You go a day, an hour without jacking off, tell yourself, look yourself in the mirror and say, yo, for an hour, for a day, I had control. It had no power over me. I had control. Take that and run with that shit, bro. Because I feel like you have that energy inside you. It's super easy to make the right decision once you've become accustomed to it. Because it's like the same with bad decision, man. It's so easy. Like the first time I smoked weed, the first time I smoked or jacked off or whatever, it wasn't like an easy decision. Like, like first time I smoked weed, like, I was like, man, like, I probably shouldn't do it. Like, I was young. I was like, probably shouldn't do it. My mom said don't do drugs. Like, I'm going to become, like, a crackhead and all this different stuff. And then, bro, by, like, my 100th time smoking weed, like, three, four months in, bro, it was, like, it was, like, natural. Like, I didn't even think about it. Literally, bro. It was, like, it was, like, muscle memory. I just did it. I just sparked the J. Like, that was, that was it, bro. Like, that was, like, <laughs> it's, like, so easy to make the wrong choice once you become in the habit of doing so. But it's the same with right choices. It's, it's breaking out of that habit that's the toughest part. You're trying to break out of the habit that you've been in for years. It's going to be tough. You're going to relapse. But take those small victories, man. Like I said, success is in the progress. Focus on the effort. It's, you're not going to immediately just become, you know, sober. It's really tough. People go through straight addiction programs for years and years and years, man. For years they go through it. And then this is a big one, too. you got to be honest with yourself, man. Be honest with yourself. I've said this before, bro. No one in this world is real. Not even real with themselves. I would say hardly anyone is even real with themselves. You can't expect anyone to be real with you. They're lying to themselves on a daily basis. They're living up to other people's expectations. You really think they're going to be real with you? Think about how stupid that sounds. You think someone's going to be straight up real with you after they're looking at themselves in the mirror and lying. And that's the person they're quote unquote living for. And they're straight up lying. Blank, bold faced lies to themselves. But you think that they're going to be real with you, bro. You only got yourself. You got to be real with yourself. But don't do this for anybody else. I've seen it firsthand. It's hard to quit addictions when people are trying to do it for the kids or for the family. But really deep inside, they don't want to quit. They're just trying to do it for the kids, for the family. 
I've seen it strengthen. If you're doing it for yourself, but you're also doing it for the friends and the family, bro, that that that's powerful right there. But you gotta yourself has to be bought in. If you're not bought in, then no matter what, I mean, you're the one who's doing it. You're the one who's getting the urges. These are your demons you have to fight. No one else has experienced them. No one else knows what you're going through. But take it a day by day at a time, day by day. We get better and better till we can't be beat, won't be beat. It's tough, man. Addiction, especially pornography, is a nasty addiction, man. Super nasty addiction. Nicotine, I was on that for years and years and years. Weed, alcohol, man. Oh, man, bro. But just take it a day at a time, man. You're going to relapse, but embrace it. Embrace it. Build off of it. Don't, like, think about how this sounds, man. You go 10 days on no fat. And then you jack off. And this is like your longest streak ever. You haven't gone day without jacking off in years since you were a kid. You go 10 days and then you're like, well, I couldn't do it. Might as well just keep going. Bro, you just went 10 days. You just went five days. You just went three days. That's 10 fuck times longer than you've ever gone in your entire life. And now you're going to give up? After your longest streak, after your biggest, you, you reached a goal and then you're going to give up? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me, man. Like... I don't know. You really got to be bought in for yourself. You, you can't just be doing it because, oh, the females. I'm going to do it for the females. I'm going to do it for the people. I'm going to do it for this guy, for this person. Bro, do it for yourself. Start doing things for yourself and that energy will manifest. Bro, you're putting energy towards yourself. Every time you make a good decision, every time, like, I said this before, whenever this girl put pussy on a silver platter. I made a video about this. Y'all probably seen it. Right? The pussy was right in front of me. I, I said no. I literally can't even make this up. I felt a power over myself, like a legitimate power, bro. Like I felt like I leveled up, like I evolved. Like honestly, I felt like like an aura around me, like like level up. You moved on to the next stage. Like that was like a test. Life will test you. The universe will test you to see if you really want it. And what's even crazier is whenever you start start to stop giving up the addiction. That's when all of a sudden it'll start coming even harder. All of a sudden I'm starting to, I want to stop smoking weed. All of a sudden everyone's trying to smoke. All these hoes are trying to smoke. All of a sudden everyone's got O's. Everyone's got, I'm like, what? All of a sudden everyone's got, you know, the most OG, you know, like all of a sudden everyone's got exotic strains and all this stuff is just coming in. Like, I'm like, bro, I was just trying to stop smoking. And now all of a sudden everyone's trying to smoke. They're trying to smoke me out all of a sudden. Hey, hey, I'll smoke you out, bro. I'm just trying to smoke. I'm like, bro, what? Where'd this come from? Like, it's the same when you start to stop giving up sex and, and all this different stuff. The girls will just come, bro. That's the universe ways. It's God's way, the devil's way of trying to get at you. Because in the same way the devil's trying to get you, it's God's way of testing you. Like I said, it's all about action. you got to make a choice now. Which way are you going to go? Every choice you make is, is you going down further that path. You make a choice to jack off, you're further going down that path. But every day that you say no... Bro, it's going to get easier and easier and easier. Just understand the beginning's always the hardest. It's always the hardest. It's like turning a ship, a big, big ship, like the Titanic. Right? It's like turning the Titanic. You try to turn the Titanic, it's not just going to turn like a bike or like a little cruise. It's not going to turn that easy, bro. You can't just two-point turn that hoe. It's a Titanic, bro. It's a big vessel. You got to like... It's going to take like maybe a few hours. I don't even know how long it takes to turn a boat. But you got to really be committed and go down and go down. If you stop midway through, bro, you're going to go head a completely different direction. But just keep on it. Keep going, bro. Keep going. Keep turning. It's going to take some time, right? It's going to take some time to re to to go in the right, right direction. This is something that this man also said that I, I saw. He said, I don't care where you've been. I don't care where you've been. I care about where you're heading, where you are pointing, your orientation. You know what orientation is? Like, you ever been to college orientation? They show you around. They show you where you're going so you know where you're going. Orientation, that's like orienteering. That's like compassing. Knowing how to use a compass, the direction, where you're heading. Because I say, like, focus on the now. If you're doing all you can to be, to, to head the, in the right direction right now, you'll, you're, you'll be fine in the future. You don't, you don't have to worry about the future. As long as you're in the right direction now, then your future self, you'll be good. If every day you're trying to better yourself, you'll be fine in the future, bro. You get what I'm saying? But, man, that's a synopsis, man. Take cold showers. 
This is the exact advice I gave this person. Take cold showers, oh, huge one. Meditate, oh my gosh, bro. Meditate, control your thoughts. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I almost forgot that one. Meditate. If y'all have not already, like, bro, I'd, I'm so surprised if you guys have, when watching my channel and haven't at least tried to start meditating. I need to make a video on how to meditate or how I meditate at least. But, bro, meditate. Look up a video, guided meditation. Do mantra meditation. I'll teach you a mantra meditation right now. Sit there with your eyes closed, play some music in your room, turn off the lights, and just repeat a word. Any word or a phrase or anything. Repeat, focus on the effort, not the outcome. Focus on the effort, not the outcome. Success is progress. Success is progress. Progress is success. Success is progress. Just repeat that in your head until you have re relaxed. Take deep breaths too. Success is progress. Success is progress. Success is progress. Until it's just repeating in your head over and over and over. Man, meditation. You control your thoughts. You get to the root of the problem before. Because everyone has a breaking point. I have a breaking point. You have a breaking point. We all have demons. We all have weaknesses. We all have strengths. But eventually you can hit a, a breaking point, right? Where, man, it's just too strong and you need to jack off. You hit a point where it's just too strong and you're just going to smoke. Everyone has that point. The key is not letting it get to that point until you have strengthened it to the point where it's almost impossible to get to that point. You get what I'm saying? That's the key is you're trying to avoid those thoughts even getting to that point. It's very easy. It's very, it's it's honestly, like it's not that hard. Like I think you guys can do it. It's just that this stuff is not preached. It's not taught anyway. People don't teach you. You know what I hate about drugs and all this different stuff and these addictions is that like in religion or in like, school or whatever they teach you don't do it right don't do it that's what they always preach just don't do it okay what if i already am doing it and i'm addicted now what like you know what i'm saying they're always preaching just don't do it in the first place okay and you'll be fine okay there's only a handful of kids that actually live that way right only a handful of kids actually never do drugs which is crazy to me or like never never like sin or whatever which i feel like you need to to learn man i honestly do think you need to right i'm not saying kill somebody but you know anyway it's like bro what if i'm actually at the point where i'm addicted now what what do i do now it's not like i can go back in time and not do the drug it's i'm addicted now what now they got no answers for you they're not going to tell you to meditate to take cold showers they're not going to tell you any of this stuff you really think they will <laughs> it's just weird to me man it's like they preach just don't do it in the first place. But what about the people who are already down that path? Isn't that who we're really doing it for? People who are actually like <laughs> stuck in that spot. We're trying to help them out. But anyway, man, meditate, man. You'll control the thoughts so that they don't get to a point where, you know, you can't control them. Try to just observe your thoughts. During the day, you can literally just observe your thoughts. Like say you're just walking around and a thought comes in your head, like literally in your mind, take a step back and like observe it like observe it just look at it and then watch it go away and like just watch your thoughts bro over time you'll start to become like really good at meditating really good at controlling your thoughts you'll have like a thought come like this will happen to me all the time because i'll still have thoughts come right that's natural you'll still have thoughts come i have a thought come and i'll just observe it or i'll be like no like i'll just like instantly like like it'll go away and the feeling will go away with it which is so crazy to me because it's like there's these powers there's these abilities we have that we never knew why is no one teaching us this why didn't no one teach me this man like i man it's easy to get super mad at the world because i'm like bro why didn't nobody teach me any of this stuff that i could do with my mind with my soul with my spirit with my energy no one i know people know people have to know but it's like man people are so lost these days but anyway anyway man try that out meditate uh, I'm gonna keep making uh, videos but this is literally how I broke my addiction I meditated I took cold showers I don't take cold showers anymore but I took cold showers for like a month and a half I made a video about it maybe like two months and it was just during that initial phase that I gained control over my body and then you kind of remove it and you're able to like do it by yourself it's like a weight you can lean on taking cold showers it's like a training wheels kind of you know what I'm saying you can use them at the start. It's going to make it a lot, lot easier. And it's going to suck. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. It's going to suck. Cold showers aren't fun. 
They're not. I didn't. I hated taking them, but bro, literally, they produce results. Like, <laughs> there's no denying that. Like, looking back, I look back. It's not a coincidence that, hey, around the time that I kicked all my addictions, I was meditating and taking cold showers. And I was focusing on the effort. I was focusing on the progress, not on the outcome. Right? Success is progress, bro. Failure is progress. Success is failure. Failure is progress. Progress is success. It's all one big circle, man. You can't put any of these things in a box. How, how can you define success? What, how do you, how do you, who defines success? Doing something the right way? What is the right way? What is failure? Doing it the wrong way? Messing up? How, how is that failure? I, like, I just don't get it, man. The world has definitions for everything. How do you define success? What is success in the dictionary? Completing a goal or like, I just don't get it, bro. But anyway, man, focus on focus on the effort. Y'all will be fine, man. You relapse, it's all good. Don't beat yourself up. You're in it with yourself at the end of the day. Don't beat yourself up. You need a good relationship with yourself. You're gonna be with yourself for a long, long time, believe it or not. So don't beat yourself up, man. Uplift yourself. That's the best thing to do, man. It's like in sports or in any circumstance, it's way better to uplift someone and give them encouragement than be like, you suck, why would you do that? It's like, then they start to shell up. And you don't want yourself shelling up from yourself. That's how depression starts. That's how a lot, of, lot, a lot of problems start. So man, I'll just give that advice, man. Be, uplift yourself, focus on, bro, the small victories, they all count, really. You want a battle, that's big, you want a battle. The war's not over, but you want to battle. You can you can celebrate a little bit, but keep pushing. Because, man, addiction, it's, it's <laughs> man, it is one of the toughest things in life. Toughest thing in life. Social media is an addiction, right? Also, one thing I had to do with my addiction with nicotine, I used to smoke the Juul, right? If y'all smoke the Juul, man, that thing is an epidemic. An epidemic. In high school, holy cow, bro. Oh my gosh, the bathrooms were like, dude, oh my gosh, it was ridiculous. If y'all are in high school, then y'all probably already know. Kids are smoking, <laughs> kids are smoking vapes the size of a penny. Literally, bro, you'd be like, yo, bro, what's up? You'd be like, <sighs> smoke everywhere. It's like, yo, what'd you just hit? What the hell was that? Like, I thought you were biting your nail, fool. Like, <laughs> Motherfucker blows a whole cloud in my face. Like, bro, what were you hitting? But it's an epidemic, man. And the thing about, that's so crazy about nicotine, these jewels, these vapes, is it's like, bro, it's supposed to be a healthy alternative to smoking, right? But instead, it's just become smoking. Like, for kids, it's just smoking. Like, I don't even know what happened. Because, like, for some reason, I guess it got twisted that the healthy alternative is healthy, which it's not. But it's just the way like phrases go. And this is how you know that people take stuff for face value. Look how many kids are smoking nicotine and e-cigarettes because they think it's healthy. Not because they think it's healthy, but because they think it's not bad for you. It's not that bad for you. Bro, it's the healthier, healthier alternative to smoking cigarettes. Bro, it's the healthier alternative to something that will give you cancer. Like, yeah. Bro, you could swallow a bag full of nickels every morning and that's a healthy alternative than smoking cigarettes, my guy. Like, <laughs> what the hell? But anyway, like I said, man, just focus on the on the small things, man. Be grateful every day. You're gonna relapse, it's gonna happen. Don't beat yourself up, build off of it. You can build off of anything. You can build off of rock bottom. I don't care where you are, you can build. You can do something. You can manifest something. Right? But either way, man, we're in this together. I'm going to catch y'all, man. Uh, look at this mural behind me, too. It's nice. Drip, drip, splash. Got the train right there. And then got the trains in the back, too. But either way, man, it's Rats Fano, bro. Uh, keep up the good work, man. I know y'all are working, man. I, I got some more videos. I'm going to make a video on how to meditate, how I meditate. But this is literally how I kick my addiction. Every addiction, man. Every addiction. I'm not a slave to my body. I'm not a slave to my mind. I'm, I am the captain, bro. I'm the captain now. Literally. I'm the captain, man. The thoughts in my head are me. And I get rid of any thought that isn't mine. But just, man, take it slow, man. Progress is success. Remember that. But I'll catch y'all on the flip, man. Let's take a, a gander at these beautiful mountains, though, for one time. 
But I'll catch y'all, man. Rats Fano, dude.